Welcome back to Delivering More, folks. I'm your host, Ben Alkar, and we have another wonderful Meet the Team to bring to you today. I have our first tandem Meet the Team because we are welcoming onto the platform the Dalpras, Justin and Sarah. What's going on, guys? Hi. Hey, how are you, Ben? We're good. We're good. I'm, I'm happy I could steal you both away. I know uh, we're, we're making your departments uh, a little shorthanded, taking you guys away from them, but uh, we appreciate your guys' time. Yeah, thanks for having us. Cool, cool. So we're, uh, we usually start off pretty light and easy. I'm, uh, we'll, we'll have to navigate this a little differently as it's uh, a tandem, so I'm not sure how these questions are going to work out, um, but we'll try our best. To start, where were you both born and where did you grow up? You want to go first or you want me to go first? Go ahead. I was born right here in Maslin, Ohio, Perry Township, a doctor's hospital. It's not even there anymore. They leveled it. They're going to build another school there. And uh, the next question, what was the next question? Where where did you grow up? Did you grow up in Maslin as well then? Yeah, I actually live right behind Central Catholic's football stadium. Okay. I'm familiar. Nate's familiar. Um, I was born in Maslin at Maslin Community Hospital. That was now Affinity. That's no longer there. And I grew up in Canal Fulton. Canal Fulton. Okay, so high school-wise, Justin, did you go to Perry? You went to Northwest then? I actually went to Central Catholic freshman, sophomore year, and then Perry junior, senior. Okay, it's Crusader and a Panther. And Sarah said yes to Northwest, so they're... I was an Indian. Indians, Indians. That's what I was, I was for some reason, couldn't... Hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. What a... Uh, what about your guys' first jobs growing up? Did you did you work early as a teenager or even younger than that? I did. I started working when I was 16 at Dairy Queen in Canal Fulton. I was there for four years. What uh, what was your favorite blizzard? I made my own. Okay, let's hear it. So Custom blizzard. I, I changed it up. I don't really have a favorite, but I used to make cheesecake and just add different toppings. So like a turtle cheesecake a oreo cheesecake a <laughs> strawberry cheese all different types of cheesecake I'm, I'm not a cheesecake guy but <laughs> i like those tur turtles like peanut and like caramel or yeah. pecan and caramel something like that i'm, I'm a big turtle guy the I like best that part was filling all the toppings because i would take a like cup out for myself so i could snack on it while i was filling the topping <laughs> what, what about you justin my first job was velocity sporting goods age 16 and i sucked horribly at it it was like uh like what, you were just like at the shop. counter? Uh, I was like a guy that just roamed around and stocked the stocked the racks. But then I went to Bob Evans immediately after that and sucked there too. I what, found my uh, calling when I was a DJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we're gonna get there. We're gonna let's. Okay, we'll, we'll, all right. we'll get there. I got, I got more question on the first job. Bob Evans, were you like a host, kitchen server? What were you doing there? I was dishes in the back, and I was a bus boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, no tips or anything like that. So you're just getting the like the minimum wage. No tips or anything. Yep, yep. Minimum wage. I don't even remember what it was. Probably like six or seven bucks an hour back then. Yeah, yeah. Not 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 great. E easy living though. Bob Evans always. Uh, you got a favorite Bob Evans dish? I actually don't like Bob Evans whatsoever. Um, uh, if we're gonna we do breakfast, uh, we like to go to Pete's right there in uh, Canton Center. Pete's restaurant. I'm not familiar with Pete's. Yeah, you're getting a head bob from Nate, so it must be very, very well known. Pete's is very good. I believe it's a, a spot that K Stat likes to even come there as okay, well. Okay, yeah. Well, that that is that is his his territory as well. Okay, what uh, after we get out of high school, did we both go to college? Did we do any secondary education, or what? Let's navigate those realms. Um. So I did go straight to Stark State. Uh, did a year there and failed miserably because I didn't go to class. Cause hey. Those Makes two of us. 10 a.m. classes, you know, came early when you're out of high school. So then I went back and I went to Brown Mackey for medical assisting. And then I couldn't afford to go because I worked at Dairy Queen making six seventy five an hour. So Yeah, I can't pay for that yourself. Couldn't afford that $400 a month to go to college. So that's it. What, uh, what about you, Justin? I dabbled at a few places. I worked at like a state store, which was probably the best job ever. State stores, like state store. We're 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 we're, pat, we're we're on college. We're on college. Oh, we're on college. I did not go to college at all whatsoever. Okay, so do, your your jobs out of high school then is that what you're talking about? Jobs out of high okay, school. all right, we can navigate that. What we got? So it was like a state store we worked at. We worked at Best Buy. I uh, worked at a few others, but the main thing was is I started driving truck right when I turned twenty one. 
Like like CDL truck? Yeah, I've been in all 48 states, worked for a few big companies, uh, like CR England, CRST. And then after that, I was really tired of doing the driving of over the road. Uh, did a little local driving here for a couple companies, then started driving limo. Okay. Did a little private driving limo, and then I started DJing. DJ, DJ Biggie. That's right. W- was that always the name? Was that always? No, the first name was originally DJ Bacon Bits. <laughs> yeah, DJ Bacon Bits, and then we changed to DJ Biggie. Okay, well, so Sarah's Sarah's like bobbing her head, so she knows all this history. So let me circle back a little bit. When did the Sarah and Justin relationship begin? How long do you have? Well, I got we got we got as much time as you guys now. We got thirty minutes on the schedule, but I mean we can go long. So um, I was nineteen, so two thousand ten. Okay. I was twenty three. And yeah, we on and off for thirteen years now. So this is, I mean, that would have been. So you said twenty ten. So that's like pre ish dating apps and stuff like that. Did you guys like meet out there in the wild? How'd you guys meet? Plenty of fish in the sea. That was like a a website. OG. (laughs) Oh man. This was before Tinder. That's wild. That's wild. It worked out though. He was the first person I actually met. You know, you talk to people and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna meet you, and then you're like, you never do. And I almost didn't go, and he almost didn't go, but we met. What at- uh do do we remember the first date? Yeah. Yeah. We met at the Starbucks that is now Wayback Burger. Okay. In the parking lot, drove over to Lake Cable. Had our first, our first kiss, kiss. Over there too, on the first date. Maybe. First day, that. first kiss. Let's go, JD. Yeah, go right in for it. Yeah, <laughs> went to sp- and we just drove around and. Drove around. We did a lot of driving around. A week later, we became official. Hell yeah! Like we're like Facebook official. Is that it? Was that we're dating, like official dating official? official. Week later. We move right fast. Dang. The only thing that took me uh, what twelve or thirteen years was to get down on one knee and put a ring on it. Yeah, well, yeah. That was after the first time was after two oh. or three years. Yeah, we. Man, <laughs> give me this. Man. Yeah, let's say hey, let's get into it. I I asked her to marry me probably the second or third year after dating her, and we originally were supposed to get married twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ooh, like you had that, like that was, you're determined. Yeah, because that's the last sequential date of existence. You'll never have a, you'll never have it in order like that ever. Is that a fact? Because there's not. Oh, because the last month month. is 12. Okay, December. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that checks out. That checks out. So again, but broke up, broke things off, weren't together for a while. We had a lot of breakups and get back together, but we're here. We're final. Yeah, you pushed through, you powered through. We uh so we can we can kind of jump forward then. Well, I guess you guys got married after you guys both started deliver that. So let's let's get let's hit deliver that first, all right? So let's how did we hear about deliver that? How how do we both get involved with the company? Um so I was coming off of a job and I hated it, despised it, and I quit and I was looking on Indeed and just came across deliver that and I was like I have no idea what this is, but I'm applying for it cuz it was recruiting. I also applied for dispatch just because I was like, well, yeah, I'll take I what I'll take whatever. Yeah. yeah. I need a job. So I interviewed with Britt and Mitch first. Yeah. My first phone call, though, was with Dan. So <laughs> I think that's everyone's first phone call. And I still don't know why we do that. Well, it was supposed to be Christian, but he never called me. So I had to actually call Dan and talk to him for like 45 minutes on the phone and got an interview set up and. Then my second one was with Holly and Christian, and the rest is history. A year later, here we are, and Justin. And you just roped him in after. Yeah. Well, it was a little bit of, uh, I don't think she wanted me to work with her. I don't think she wanted me to work at the same job, but I was also leaving my time at Spectrum, which I was doing sales there, and it wasn't for me. And I actually had my first call for this job with Christian, on the same day of us trying on our tuxedos for the wedding. Oh, wow. So the wedding. Okay. So when when did you propose? Was that the second time you proposed? The official time? This August 6th. August 6th of. Mm-hmm. Thank you. She yeah, because you guys. Day. Nate, give us give us the higher dates on there, Nate. I think they should be on that sheet. At least Sarah is. Sarah, 11922. 1922. And JD, yours is coming up, I believe. This Saturday will be one year, March 4th. March 4th, two thousand. 
2022 as well. Perfect. Yeah. So we're, we're both on the one year mark. Unbelievable stuff. We all love having you here. So the Dalpras last year were the first official DT wedding. I think we had a, a hell of a year last year for delivery as far as weddings. We had the Dalpras, then I think the Hoffmans were next, and then the Kimes, I believe, in that order possibly. I'm getting some nods, so we're checking out. The Hoffmans and the Kimes were on the same weekend. That is, they were, yeah, they were back to back days. Oh, yeah. Dang, I forgot about that. That was a Friday, Saturday. That was a long weekend for the boys. That was a long, long weekend. What, uh, the Dalpra wedding. What what month was that? Was that July? April. April. Oh man, I was way off. I was so off. Yeah, it was like it was very cold. Like it is now. Ohio weather is cold, then hot one day, then cold. But that week it was the day was like forty the day before and eighty five the day of our wedding. Yeah, it was sunny, hot, ridiculous. I had a big poofy bottom of my dress and I was dying. Our limo. Our limo's air conditioner broke on the way to come pick oh, us you're up. The, you're the limo guy. You couldn't figure that out? It was the limo that I was driving privately. <laughs> I gave it to as a wedding present for that day. And, of course, the air conditioner went out on the day that it's 85 in April. You Unbelievable. Rode it more than I did. We rode it to the church. I stayed with my parents. We got married in Canal Fulton. So. What a... Uh... What uh? So let's uh. So now we now we're we're married. We're at deliver that. Sarah's brought on a recruiter. JD, were you brought on as dispatch? I was um originally hired as dispatch, but when I started, um they were starting the CSR. CSR, role, right? And it was Vic that took control of that. Then I was the second person under Vic. I guess. Right. It was like you and you and Lissa. Yep. Right. Okay. That was, I mean, that's a solid crew to start out with those. Good. I remember that I was kind of still almost out there a little bit when that starts. So those, those are all good times. What, um, since then we're now a year removed from all that stuff. You've now basically transitioned into a full-time dispatch. You would say full-time dispatch, a hundred percent in charge of routing. Routing, routing. So you're the routing guy. I don't know. Do you want to say that publicly or? Yeah, I'll say it and look right at the camera when I say it. <laughs> uh, if you have a bad route, I'm I'm the guy that's pulling your orders. <laughs> what, what what about what about setting up the good routes? Let's talk about that. Though. If you have a good route, yeah, I'm lining them up. Everything from if you have a route here at Deliver That, get good or bad, my hands are in it somewhere every single day. And then, and then Sarah, we'll, we'll let we'll continue. Sarah, you've been in recruiting the entire time, kind of like the driver experience side of things. What uh, what are you doing on like a day to day basis? So we recently, before it was mixture, I would start my day with recruiting, and then I would transition into driver relations, where if my husband filed a ticket on you, I'm the one that's filing it. And, <laughs> the you know, the, the Dalpra double to. team. <laughs> um. But now we are trying a new thing. So I'm, I'm mainly doing the recruiting side of it, um, activating drivers and um, answering their questions about how to come on the platform and how everything works. So it's been a nice week of trying that out. So We, uh, we spoke to Holly about this a little bit during her Meet the Team. I'm a little curious how you feel about it. The onboarding process as a whole, it's been overhauled quite a bit. I mean, we legitimately used to do ride-alongs before your guys team time where we would have lead drivers go out have like in-person tandem deliveries that they drive them show them the ropes now we since covid we moved to everything's online and then now the onboarding process i think is probably like as seamless as it's ever been how do you feel lately about the onboarding uh, it's great um at least on our end of it i mean i know it's it's very simple We've all done a registration to know what it's like. So onboarding, it's it's very smooth. I mean, people can be onboarded in five minutes. You know, if, if they're doing all the steps, doing the videos, buying the stuff, the bags, you know, everything you need, you can be onboarded and activated in a day. Yeah, And they definitely streamlined the onboarding. For our end of it, it's less data entry, so we get drivers onboarded a lot faster. Like all of them come in and... It came in 30 seconds ago, and I'm activating them. Yeah, that's know, amazing. It's, it's great. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sh yeah, shout out, <laughs> Christian. Great, great stuff, great stuff. I uh, I don't have a whole lot more, but I know, J.D., you, you've been super amped for this Meet the Team segment. Yeah. I'll open the floor to you. Do you have things you would like to discuss, things you want to talk about, things we can go deeper into? I love Deliver That. I'm 100% all in. I mean – 
for, I've worked a lot of jobs in my day. I mean, DJing, driving truck, all these other side jobs. Um, I literally had 15 years in the DJ trade, sold everything, sold my gears, don't DJ whatsoever. I kept like Say, one. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa. You DJ a little bit in this office. I do DJ in the office. I mean, uh, we just connect to their Bluetooth speaker here and rock out the day and keep the vibe going. Um, but other than just that and just regular DJ trade, I don't do that anymore. Um, I kept one speaker to do like little side house party gigs. But I'm 100% and deliver that. I sold all that. And again, I'm here. I even got my license plate that says deliver that. I, yeah, I, I didn't even think to bring that up. We'll have to maybe get a, an off, off, suit, off shoot shot of that. Show it mid, mid while he brings that up in the interview, Nate. We'll have to do that. If, if that doesn't tell you that I'm 100% on, I mean, I did that like the second or third month working. Yeah, I was about to say, you did that very early. I was uh, just like a little nervous because you never know. You're like, that's a lot of commitment very early on. But uh, I definitely like it. It's, uh, it's probably the best job I've ever had, and I just would like to be here probably as long as it goes. Just ride it all the way to the top. Yeah, that, I think that's what we're all ready to do. Well, one day I want to be sitting at the top and say, see my name on the door. <laughs> Not on the door of the business, just like the door of maybe. <laughs> An office. Uh, no, An, an office. office. VP, president, who knows? <laughs> you, J- Justin's, Justin Dalpris, deliver that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you never we'll know. Start franchising. Yeah, you never know. You never know. All right, well, guys, I appreciate you getting the time, taking the time to uh, let us get to know you a little bit more. We do want to close it out. This will be interesting again because this tandem, I've never done this tandem, so be see, we'll see how it works out. But we're going to hit it. We're going to end it with this or that. I just need you to give me one or the other, a little back story, background to why you chose that, and, and we'll just breeze right through them. I think we should do a little different for you. I think we okay. should do this or that, but we have to answer opposite. So if you ask me, what is Sarah's favorite something, or what is, and we have to answer each other. I mean, we're married. We've been together. You want to do, you want to do like the couples game, this or that. Sure, like You have to sure. get there, this or that right. Heck yeah, because if I don't know these, I'm in trouble. And if I do know, maybe I get a bonus point or two. I don't. Okay. Know. All right. So we only have, we only have five. Okay. So we'll alternate who picks the this or that. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll start out. Justin picking for Sarah, early mornings or late nights? Definitely late nights. Can we get a com- confirmation? Yeah, I'm not nice in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, are we like past 12 p 12 a.m. late nights? Like how late are the like during the week? How late are the nights? During the week, uh, the nights I would assume for both of us, eh, we're probably in bed by 10. I would say 10 at nighttime for the next day. He's asleep on the couch by 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I'm in bed by. 9 30 10 o'clock okay all right so I like late nights or early mornings but if i had to choose late nights unbelievable unbelievable moving right along this would be sarah picking for justin hot or cold he likes warm i know that's not a choice but if he had to choose i would say cold because he can like put layers on but you can't like take as you know so many layers off what uh is was warm on par? Would you have been warm over hot or cold? I would say warm is probably right, but I mean, th- I think this is the first day that I've actually wore pants this year. I usually wear shorts all the time when it's cold out. <laughs> what uh what is your ideal temperature? Sixties, seventies ish, not too cold. Not yeah, too hot. like a little like a little summer breeze in there maybe or something like that. Okay. All right. I, I can get down with that. We'll move right along to Justin again, picking for Sarah. So we're two for two right now. We're two for two. Let's keep that in mind. Books or movies, Sarah, for Sarah. See, I'm going to say movies, but if I say books, it could, it's like a 50-50 because I didn't even know she likes to read books. So, <laughs> But I'm going to go movies, and I'm going to go that it's the Twilight trilogy okay that's i was gonna ask what you think the favorite movie is you got it you got a head nod on the movies i think you got that right am i right or wrong on trilight trilogy that is one of them the favorite you you like the twilight movies not my absolute favorite he knows my absolute favorite my bridal shower was themed this oh harry potter harry potter oh okay okay Um, you got to have a favorite one though not the whole series i like the whole series but my favorite one is um he won't watch me scared of him. Um, True. <laughs> but 
But my favorite one, I would have to say, is probably Prisoner of Azkaban. I swear on my life that was going to be my guess because that's that was my, always my favorite growing up. Sirius Black, Sirius Black. is the man. Yep. He's the man. I I do like Goblet of Fire too, but I would say between Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire. Yeah, I, I think if I, if I had to rank them, I think I would go Prisoner of Azkaban. Like the Deathly Hallows, the, the seven part one and part two are probably my second. I'll include them as the same. Mm-hmm. And then actually... What's the si- what's the one where you find out Snape's all involved? The sixth Half one, Half Blood Prince. I think actually Half Blood Pr- Prince is probably Half my Blood. second because that's where like everything starts to you like it really happens. figure everything yeah. out. Yeah, and then I'd go seven, and then Goblet of Fire wasn't. You know, I, you know I didn't why? Like it that much. Because you know my favorite movie after that's Twilight, and who's in the Goblet of Fire? Yeah, Pattinson, Robert yeah, Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. Yeah. And that I did Dr. like that. Diggory. I did like that one because that was the only movie that they showed like. Uh, like professional Quidditch, I they didn't show yeah. Quidditch enough. They showed it like the early ones, but then it just gets disappears, and then they brought it back for that movie. And I was like, yeah, this is it. Yep, uh, my least favorite is the first one. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I'd probably agree with that. I think I think it's because the villain is weird. The 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 the, the professor being yeah. the villain was kind of I didn't like him. He's a weird it's looking just dude. Slow too. Like you're just getting to know everyone. They're so young and like not that great of actors yet. But then my favorite character is Ron. I love Ron, Ron Weasley. Weasley, yeah. He's so a great in the guy. Chamber of Secrets, when he goes, follow the spiders, why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I have, I shouldn't say this, but I have some passwords that are like, follow the butterflies. <laughs> Another, of, uh, I this will, them. I think this is my, my second Meet the Team impression. My favorite line from Chamber of Secrets, uh, Ron, is when they're at the chessboard. He's like, oh, yeah. not me, not Hermione, you. <laughs> that's like, oh, that's all time. That's yeah. all time. All right, long. we're. I think I don't want. I don't want to bore Justin too much. I could talk about Harry Potter for so long. Oh, uh, me too. Why don't you come to Harry Potter night? I. It was too early. It was like it was like a six p.m. start. I had to like go to the gym, go let my dog out, eat. It just I well, couldn't. We need feedback. So if you want to come, the yeah. second one's coming up. I just I couldn't I couldn't commit to that Nerd early alert. of a start off time. Nerd alert. Yeah, we just went on a little bit of a tangent. We we went on a little bit of a tangent. What uh, this is Sarah now picking for Justin. Dogs or cats? Oh, you had to do my favorite Von Booker movie. No. That's not how we're doing this. Oh. We can do it, though. What's your favorite Booker movie? His favorite? He, well, he doesn't read books. He's having a hard time even trying to re- read Move Your Bus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't watch this much. Um, but, yeah, he definitely in movies. And his favorite movie is Drop Dead Fred. What is that? Uh, it's from like the 80s. It's a movie about this girl that has an imaginary friend named Fred, but he they call him Drop Dead Fred, and he just does crazy stuff, and it's it's great. Is it is that like a comedy? Like what are we? What's our genre? I would say it's a comedy because okay. Drop Dead Fred is like wild, crazy. Okay. Kind of like me, back in my 20s. <laughs> not not now when I'm 35. All right. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Yeah, he, dogs um, or cats. So, he's a dog person, but I don't like dogs, so he we love our little cat Lola. Okay, so you have a cat, but he's a dog guy. Yeah, he's turn he's transitioned. What uh do are we allergic to dogs, or you just like actually don't like no, them? I'm terrified of dogs. Oh, terrified of them. I will send you a clip of me as a baby hit like a dog was coming out to me. My uncle's dog, sweetest dog ever, golden retriever, Cricket was her name. And I am like six months old on my uncle's recliner, and she's coming up to me, and I'm screaming, like smacking. I'm six months, so I'm not like hurting the dog, but you know, like just waving around crying. You just always been traumatized by him. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I, I do not. I like certain people's dogs, like my uncle's dog. I still, I love them now. His parents have two labs. Two labs. I love them, but it's more of like the the scary dogs. Sheesh. I can get I I can be terrified of dogs. And it's not like I'm gonna get a, it's not like I'm gonna get a scary dog. We're not getting a dog. Like a, what would you say, say scary? Like a like a pit bull, Rottweiler, yeah. like pit bull, Rottweiler, I, Yeah. If you come at me with a Rottweiler, I'm not coming near you. Yeah. They're yeah. usually so sweet though. I was gonna dog that's kinda like me, like lazy and like a hound. You dog. need a... what is uh man, I wish I wanna say like Saint Bernard, but I Nate, can you yeah. Google can you, you Google Saint Bernard and what do you wanna name him? Oliver Gus. 
Oliver Gus. That's uh, you said Oliver or Gus. Oliver or Gus. My that is like a, this is really really random. But my mom always told me when she was about to have me, she was gonna name me Gus. And I was like, that is, I'm so thankful you didn't name me Gus. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking like more droopy though, like like uh like even even more extreme. Like a pug or a bulldog. Yeah, I have like a very specific picture in my head, but I have no idea what it's called. No yeah, idea. Like, like a like a like a like a mastiff. A mastiff is that what it is? Yeah, my sister kind of has one, but it's a sharpie. Yeah. yeah. My sister had a mastiff, and if I can tell you, this is another reason I'm terrified of dogs. They were on vacation. I went to go feed this dog. It was in its cage. I took the plastic scoop, and it started like coming at me in the cage. So I like dropped the scoop in there. Didn't care, ran like it ate the plastic scoop, like ate the scoop. I was like, I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back to feed your dog. I don't care. It ate the scoop, like uh, that's no, it's just terrifying stuff. It's terrifying, it's terrifying stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, I like the cat now. I don't know if we have a picture we can throw up of Lola, but yeah, uh, if you got, yeah, send it over to me. We can throw it up, yeah, for sure. What uh? All right. Well, let's uh let's let's close this out. I okay. think I think this last one, based on my my history of you guys being in the office, I'm fairly certain on what this answer is going to be. But maybe you guys will. I don't know. Maybe you'll change it up. But home cooking or going out to eat. You already know. <laughs> going out to eat. Yeah. If, I did cook last night though. Okay. He he enjoys my cooking when I do cook. Okay. But. <laughs> We go out to eat. What uh? Give me, give me the Dalpra top five. Top Ten. five restaurants. Yeah, I, I don't want, I don't want no fast food either. No fast. I want restaurants. Oh, uh, see, our top one is Taco Bell. <sighs> top yeah. one is Taco Bell, probably two um, times All right, all right. Top well, five, whatever we need. One. We'll do fast what, food. All right, all right. So our <clears throat> coming at five. Coming in at five, like the, the one we go to the least. I mean, but it's still in the top. So like, you um, gotta go to it a pretty good amount. Probably L Camps. Ooh. Sure. Which Camps. are we talking in North Canton or Maslin on Lincoln Way? Um, so we prefer the Canton one, but my sister doesn't like to go there. So when we go with them, we go to Perry. Yeah, that's that's the that's the one right next to the bowling alley. Yeah, yeah, but that's the, last the one. Last time I was there, they spilled hot burrito juice on my sweater on my back. So we're not too happy <laughs> with them right now. It was my birthday too. So oh man, uh, four? four, probably B Dubs. B Dubs. Oh, all right. B-dubs. You brought it up, so just tell tell the folks. What how what's the wing, the wing record? The wing record a long time ago, probably in my twenties, was eighty seven chicken wings in one sitting. At at Buffalo Wild Wings. At Quaker Steak and Lou. Oh, Quaker Steak and Lou. Dang it. All you can eat wing night. Um, then I would say. And number three, I believe, is a toss okay. between Winking Lizard or Game Time. I would put Winking Lizard as three. What's Game Time? It's in Perry. It's in the plaza. It's, a, it's, a Mercedes. it's okay. like a sports bar. They have really good food. Okay. Winking Lizard, obviously, that's a, a fairly local uh, chain. But, yeah. yeah, Winking Lizard's great. They, uh, they're, I don't, I don't love their menu, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I'm not a big they're fan They're a little of overpriced. Yeah. We don't go there often. We go there Monday. They have the wings back on special. Their wings are so small, though. They are. They are so small. But their sauce is so good. I, I don't disagree with that. They have great sauces. They have one of the best sauces, which I actually found a dupe for the their Asian sesame. It's actually Good and Gather brand. It's a uh, sesame. Karaoke. Found a dupe. That's yeah, hilarious. It's really good. Um, number one would probably be. I think we're on number two. Number two. Oh, yeah. number two, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Okay. We get that probably once. I haven't been to Texas Roadhouse that many times, but it's always just it's, it's always rolls. great. Yeah, it's always. Great. I don't care about the food. I want the rolls. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, are are we st- are we steak people or what are we getting at Texas Roadhouse? I like to get the largest steak possible so I can feel miserable later. Yeah. <laughs> and she likes to get the smallest. I get one. like the six ounce steak. So she can. But I'll eat rolls. like five rolls. <laughs> yeah. You save like you eat the three to begin with, and then you do two like with the cinnamon butter for dessert. After you eat your meal. That's I mean it's not a bad tactic. Yeah, it's not. But uh, Taco Bell is definitely number one. Yeah. Taco Bell is number one. What there. uh? What's what's our what's our menu items? Our go-to's? Cause I could I could rattle mine off. I easy. got him on the five-dollar box that you can only order online. Yeah. You can. You pick, can only get the quesarito on the app too. Yeah, but you can pick like five different like options. We get the cheesy gritty crunch. Yeah. Wait, what? 
You can change the options. Yeah, it's an online exclusive. You have to order it online. On the <clears throat> I know exactly what you're talking about. I was not aware you could change the options though. Yeah. Because it always it, like the picture shows like a chalupa. No, you can get like a chalupa, the cheese grated crunch, um, the crunch wrap. Oh man, I might have to check that out. And then you get a taco, a nacho, and a, and drink, a drink for five bucks. Yeah. But you can oh. get like the cinnamon twist, the, but it's five dollars. I'm like. I can't not. So oh, I got man. him on it because he used, we used to spend like $30 at Taco Bell. I, I, I spent over $20 by myself. Our, order, our normal order was like $27 with what he got because he would get like two cases. I could tell you his order right now. Two quesadillas. I'm a quesadilla guy two too. Two soft tacos, no lettuce, two nachos, and a drink was his normal go-to. But now it's not the, lying, guys. Now not it's lying. the five dollar box because I'm tired of paying twenty. You uh, are you chicken or steak case, do you? Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay. All the steak sucks. Really? I uh, I've always I was always chicken case do growing up, but I've since morphed into steak case do When we first met, he would not go to Taco Bell. Really? I only ate cheese quesadillas. With no sauce. And the sauce at the, on the quesadillas is what now is he gets like extra jalapeno what it is. sauce on the side. Yeah, that's what I I I've done that too. Yeah. And I didn't do the gordita crunch until trying condado tacos. Yes. Oh, you got like the like, layered condado and tried the cheesy gordita? I was like, you know they have that at Taco Bell, right? <laughs> and he's like, no, they don't. And I was like, yeah, they do. So he just switches out the ranch for the jalapeno sauce. And no lettuce, add tomato. Oh, you know, I like the ranch sauce that's on too. the gordita. He I, won't try it. I've probably gained 40, 50 pounds working here. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, with all the caterings we have in here and all the great food. I've, I've not lost. It's, all these guys are fit and they go to the gym and play golf and everything. And me, I'm just, I'm ready to go eat again. He still won't try Bibby Bop, though. Oh. He refuses. I'm like, it's free. Try it. This is the time to try it because you don't know if you like it. And he refuses to try it still. I'm like. Oh, like when we get it catered, you yeah. could try it. Yeah. And I'm like, just, he's so picky. Unbelievable. We're running out of time here, sir. We yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, we do got to wrap it up. But I mean, that's we got through it. We're through it. So I mean, again, the Dow Pros. This was, I think, this was a heavily anticipated interview. I'm happy we we got the tandem knocked out. This was an interesting way to do it. But I think we did it well. Yeah, it's the only way you were gonna get me. So yeah, that's yeah, she, yeah, yeah. So Justin, I didn't tell you. I asked her. I think on Tuesday, I was like, "Are we doing it together or separate?" And she was like, "Well, I'm only doing it if we do it together." Wow. So we, she kind of just didn't give us a choice. It's she honestly. She went in the bathroom and put gel in her hair, hair spray. Her hair. <laughs> because my normal bun wasn't cutting it. It was frizz. Hey, you got you got to get prepped for the cameras. I thought it was like I was checking the calendar, making sure it wasn't our wedding anniversary or anything. But she did her hair. <laughs> yeah, and it really is not just because of him. It's because I don't like being on the camera. So. Yeah, that seems to, that's a, that's, okay. kind, that's kind of a trend with our, our driver relations department. Some yeah. some of them are not, not We're behind the scenes. Yeah. We're not. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. But uh, again, I, I appreciate you guys taking the time. I mean, this is this has got to be the longest one we did. It's gonna be a great time. I can't wait for the people to see this. But again, we love having you guys here to deliver that. Thank you so much for taking the time to let the people watching get to know you better, as well as myself. And we will see you all very soon. We'll see you then. See you, Germany.